At the Carpenter's Apprentice and Training Center, the art of lathing continues to be the craft of a skilled carpenter. Like many modern construction techniques, continuing education and hands-on training provides an important opportunity to work with the latest materials. Lathing was involved in residential construction. They installed these wood strips with a quarter inch gap, which was called wood lath. And as it progressed in time, then it came into inch and a half iron, three quarter iron, and then metal lath. An early practice in construction was the use of wood lath and plaster. Lath and plaster was used in residential housing to build walls and create architectural shapes. Now we use uh, innovative products that are from Armstrong that accepts metal lath and it's used for plaster. Innovation is very important to remain competitive. Things are changing very fast. We take new product development very seriously. And we have uh, installation support reps located around the country that are on jobs every day and helping working with the contractors and helping identify the needs for the industry. While drywall is a common method for the construction of interior walls, new metal lath with plaster has become a construction option for commercial buildings, especially useful considering the versatility they offer for the framing of architectural shapes. One thing that's good about these products is, with lath, we could use anything that an architect creates. With domes, with groin vaults, with segmental barrels, serpentine ceilings, we still need to use these products in order to create with metal lath. We could use drywall, but it's hard to conform drywall to these shapes. So lathing's been in this industry to make an architectural dream exist. The flexibility of the materials allows for time-saving installation without any sacrifice in strength and durability, a drawback of traditional wood lath. For the lath and plaster system, you're going to use our three-foot tees or two-foot tees. A key part of some of the innovation and engineering in this system is you know, our peak form, which you can see it, it adds strength to the product and makes it easier to cut. So here's our faceted main, which the knockouts come out of the uh, box with this little piece of metal here to keep it straight during shipping. Then you would cut it, and now the main beam becomes totally flexible to put in your template. So when we look at this material, it's obviously it's steel, it's a lighter gauge. Uh, is this recycled material? I mean, sustainability Absolutely. becomes a big issue. Absolutely, and I mean, steel is the most recycled material in the world, um, so, and it's 100% recyclable. Um, so we recycle everything, and many of our products are available in the high recycled content. Oh wow, that's great. So even the cutoffs and things, scrap in the field, all yeah, that can be yeah. recycled too then. Even at our plant, all these little knockouts, all that steel goes in a conveyor belt under the floor and gets recycled. Training obviously becomes an important factor here too, because obviously this is a new product to the system, a little different from what people are traditionally used to working with. Yeah, no, absolutely. Training is huge because to ensure a safe and quality install, um, you know, to, uh, training is crucial that the members and the installers know how to work with the new product. Here, the construction of a growing vaulted ceiling is just one example of the marriage between new materials, techniques, and a craft that is being continually refined for the modern lather. In the past, we would have to form it all by hand. So if we had this exact shape, and depending on how many pieces we needed to be framed, we'd have three-quarter iron, we'd have this layout on a template or on the ground, and shape it by hand, forming it with our eye, and then matching it close to the template until we got it to precise measurement. This is probably cutting our time by half, which the industry likes, because now we are able to build more jobs with metal lath.